This is a presentation of Michigan State University's Knight Center for Environmental Journalism. What a waste of energy. Every minute's worth of sunlight can provide the planet with a year's worth of energy. If we can capture a full day's worth, it can end our energy problems for 72 generations. Today's solutions to our energy needs have become the problem. Coal-fired plants like this one are accelerating climate change as cheap, abundant coal is burned. At Michigan State University, over 1,200 pounds of coal are burned per student per year to supply the campus's energy needs. But one thing that is overlooked is right over our heads. Acres of empty roof spaces provide the potential opportunity to harvest the sun's free energy. The MSU Pavilion is the university's first adventure into solar power. And this is a 10 kilowatt array behind us. Um, it's a monochrysaline array and um, we have it grid tied so there's no batteries. And we've had good success with this. This has been installed for about six years now. When looking at locations around campus on where to put the solar panels, this seemed like a good uh, location because it really is a demonstration project. And so we wanted a lot of visitors to see it and then to be able to use it as a teaching learning tool for campus as well. So this seemed the ideal location. Proven solar technology has been around for decades and the science behind it is fairly straightforward. Sunlight is made up of tiny packets of energy called photons. Solar panels take the sunlight and convert it to uh, electrical energy and absorbs that sunlight and moves electrons and when you have moving electrons that creates electricity. MSU's is just one of many demonstration projects that have sprouted up throughout the country. For several years now governments, industry and private consumers have been receiving a portion of their energy needs from the sun. In 2005, Federal Express at the Oakland, California airport saw the light. It was the largest corporate solar installation in the United States. There's 5,679 panels up here. Overall, the system provides approximately 20% of our overall power needs. In that first year, it's important to note that it generated over a million kilowatt hours. Well, what's that mean? Well, it's like not driving over 850,000 miles. In downtown Lansing, Michigan, the city installed a 432-panel solar power array. The cost was less than $600,000, and the panels generate 54 kilowatts, enough to power approximately 50 homes. Michigan State University plans to install a second larger solar panel array that will be placed on the new Surplus and Recycling Center. So we're going to be able to install a 30 kilowatt. It's three times this, this size here on that building. Though solar panels are becoming more popular, they are still highly inefficient and extremely costly. Typical solar panels have an average efficiency of 12%, whereas coal-fired power plants, like the one at Michigan State, operates at 60% efficiency. The solar panel array at the MSU Pavilion will take up to 30 years to supply free energy to pay itself back and only supplies less than 1% of the building's energy needs. Furthermore, Michigan is characterized by harsh winters and extensive cloud coverage. And the price of solar needs to come down. It is coming down. I will say that's the good news. They're coming up with new products like Unisolar that's a, a thin film um, um, that is more efficient. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that with the price of solar coming down that you'll see more installations. With solar energy becoming more viable and urgently needed, Michigan State will likely explore other projects to harvest the sun's energy. And, as we look to the future, it seems likely we will gather most of our energy needs from the rays above. <laughs>